Ladies and gentlemen, we were in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is 110 degrees out. I'm on my way to cut the baddest motherfucker in the world's hair. That's right, I'm talking about the heavyweight champion, Francis Ngannou. I haven't done a haircut on a black man since my first episode of this show with Lil Flip Flop. So I thought it's only right I bring Lil Flip Flop along. Yo. He was away for a while in a coma, but he has just awoken and I decided to bring him out. One, because he's my good friend. He's a black man, the last black man that I've cut their hair. I did a good job on you, right? No, you did. You did. I need you to tell Francis that I am qualified for this. Before we start, I want to thank Current for sponsoring this episode. The Current card is the coolest way of banking. Current and I are giving away $10,000 to you guys. All you got to do is go down to the link in the description and sign up for Current today. And you can win 500 bucks. 20 of you guys can win 500 bucks. Thank you, Current, for believing in me and sponsoring today's episode. You won't regret it. I appreciate you doing this, man. Much Have you ever seen the show that we do? I don't watch too much stuff. I understand, uh, but I'm just saying it's a bit of a prank show, but don't take that as a disrespect in any way. <laughs> I don't want to be locked in this thing with you, but I'm willing to die for this. I'm sure you have a good life insurance, so it's okay. We don't even have a permit. We, that's why we had to meet out here in the middle of nowhere and we had to send you GPS coordinates. Thank you guys for bringing that compass. Do you have anything specific you want to do with your hair? I used to do some design, but so far I haven't found somebody in the U.S. that gave me the design and the coloring that I used to do. I've done designs, but I haven't cut hair in a long time because we took a little break from the show. So I'm, I'm a little rusty with haircuts. And also I got in an accident, I got my orbital smashed, so I am illegally blind in one eye. But my that other eye works perfect. That's a big problem. My hair has to be like how I want it. Do you want to try to smash that ATM real quick? What do I going to rip this for? To get the money out. Let's see. Lift with your back, not your legs. I used to lift stuff for a living. Hey! We didn't get the money part open though. Most of the time people cut in my hair. I can't sleep, I can't blink. I have Are to you sleep. worried right now? Still, yeah. You're a bit stressed out with dealing with me. Yeah, I wanna see how it comes out. Okay, that's the point of the show. We're showing you in a different light here. Everybody knows charming Francis. You don't shit talk your opponents, you just knock them out cold when you get them in the, in the octagon. This man is the heavyweight champion in the hardest division in the world. So basically if we had a gladiator style competition with every man on the planet and they all had to fight with no weapons, this man would be the last man standing. You know that you have that title, right? Yeah, it's not something that you walk around every day thinking about it, but I do have it. If I had that title, these guys would not hear the end of it. I'd be telling them I'm the goddamn toughest guy in the world that will crack everybody's head open. And how... I already do that. How often does USADA come and test you for steroids? I recently completed the 50 time test. You've been tested 50 times? Yeah. Well, you look like something out of a Marvel movie. You know, so I can understand why they would test you 50 times. You know, I'm not accusing you of anything. Let's change the subject. If you could make your dream fight, any fighter in their prime, dead or alive. I think I'll put Muhammad Ali and Mike Jake Tyson. Jake Paul? Oh, Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson? Probably better than my suggestion. What do you think about these YouTubers getting into the boxing game? It's entertainment, right? Obviously, it's a fight, but it's not just to like see. Hey, no, not, not right now. We're doing the show. Not right now. I'm with the U.S. doping agency. I heard you guys are doping over here. Nobody's doping in here, bro. You look like you're on dope. I'm. Um, you already known as a you know a known drug dealer. We haven't been to jail in years. I need both of you guys to pee in this. I'm not peeing in nothing, man. You Eat get that bottle out of either here. Either you're gonna pee in it, or I'm gonna force you. You gonna force this man to pee? You gonna touch his dick? You guys must you're taking me, blood meaning, from meaning. My, yes, of course I'm taking blood. I had to take blood in your. There's already blood in that needle. I didn't know this right, was gonna so happen. Usually, even when I get in this type of situation, I'm so confident. I know that nothing will happen. You know you could strangle this man with one so hand. So I don't have to stress out. You think you, you could go toe to toe with me? I'm not fighting you. I'm Why whipping your ass. He gets the, yeah. Okay, get the f out of here. Because we're doing a Penis goddamn show I here. I have 30 minutes left. I promise you. Get the f out of here. Next time you come here, I'm taking my belt out. He's not talking about the championship one. He's going to whip you with his belt that he has on. I have the body pad, so you could blast me in the stomach. Or you could do the head if you want. Oh, yeah. I picked the head. This thing's fucking stupid. I'm scared now. Put that thing on. No, no, no. Just... Ah, right in the bad eye. All right, we're gonna cut to a segment. This is gonna be fan submitted questions. We put out a little thing on Twitter and everybody sends in questions. What's it like being such a big fucking French fucking idiot? Let's get to another one. That was a stupid question. Um, what is the question? 
it was like, what's it like being such a big fucking French fucking guy, uh, you know? Well, I just like what big fucking, I don't know what is that like. <laughs> um, this one's from Mike. What's it like being such a big fucking uh, French fucking stupid idiot, big fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird fucking show over here. We whatever we want. He's not, he doesn't get scared of anything. He does not fear anything. I've never met a man like this. How much percent can I go? 200%. I'm gonna go straight right. Yeah. You don't even flinch. <sighs> okay, I, f this. I'm I, done. My, I gra my grandma can do better than this. <laughs> You know what? I got hand problems. I'm a barber. I got to protect oh, okay. the hands. Now you have a hand problem. Two minutes ago, you were a I badass. I a cold. <laughs> you were a badass. Yeah, I sneezed this morning. Who's your favorite female fighter? My favorite female fighter. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Valentina Shevchenko. I have a big she crush on her. She's a badass. Do you think there's any way you could... I'm not a matchmaker. <laughs> Maybe just shoot her, sure. shoot her my profile. Say this guy, he's a funny guy. He's a good barber, you know? Yeah. Decent MMA skills, we can lie. Once again, I'm not a matchmaker. Do and, you know her? And if you're and if you're a bad guy, he's on me. Then she'll be like, oh without you. But we know each guy? other for like 20 minutes, man. You know I'm a good guy. I'm oh whoa, 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 hold on. But I've been messaging her, I'm sending her DMs, I'm saying, hey, you know, imagine if I got you pregnant, our, our kids would be elite fighters, and you know, you want to get a steak dinner tonight on me. I'm hitting her up with all these things. She hasn't responded, she probably hasn't seen it yet. So maybe you could just tell her open her DMs. Or maybe she just found your DM inappropriate or didn't see your DM. I don't care what you say. My hand is steady, my man. That better be steady, your hand. I don't want to have to tell you to shut up, yeah. but when I line up your mouth, we can't have you talking. Damn, you let another man no, close judge, your mouth don't, like that. Don't instigate right now. He's really starting to get pissed off. What were your thoughts on the Jake Paul Tyron Woodley fight? I thought I don't want I'm sorry, to please stop talking. Just fight. please keep it quiet just for this. Francis, you're the obviously the baddest man in the world, right? You're this big tough guy. What happens if somebody comes at you with a fucking gun? What do you think I should do? Just fucking one swipe, just pull the fucking whole arm off. You see, stick your arm out. <laughs> I wouldn't come at you with a fucking gun either. Do you ever worry about brain damage being a fighter? I don't think about that. Do you ever worry about the other guys' brains? If I don't think about mine, then I will be thinking about other guys. It's a good point. <laughs> okay, you ready for the big reveal? You like it? You did pretty good, yeah. Seriously? You think I got potential to make it in this town? No. How much you weigh right now? 290? You see John Jones getting fat for no reason, huh? He's gonna go to the uh, represent the US for the Olympic team weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> You're training the wrong sport, buddy. Oh damn, I hope we don't have John Jones next on the show. We did it! Nobody died. Not yet. We're like Robin Big. You know? You know that MTV show? Robin Big, no, I don't know. but I'm gonna fucking torture him today and I'm gonna make him hate me. You got a birthday boy in there? Happy birthday, Kyle. 